Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment. There's no music today, I know. Look, it's been a morning. If you're watching live, you know. If you're not watching live, then you have the blessed <laughs> experience of not experiencing all the fun. Today was a rough start, but, but we're good. We're off to a good start-ish. I'm making that up. Uh, but we're going to talk about this guy right here. Look, look at this thing. Thank you, beauty. i got to send this back. I'm so bummed. It's really nice. I really like it. Uh, final, let's see, final review. Final review of the Manfrotto N8 tripod head. Beautifully smooth, gorgeously smooth, really smooth. Like I just oh, love that smooth motion. I yeah, I really want to keep this head. Um, the only reason I'm not keeping it, well, there's a few reasons. One, um, I'm not made of money. It is a thousand bucks for this head and legs. Um, second, the the legs. When I requested it from B and H, and let's recall that this is on loan from B and H. So if you do decide to buy one, use the link below. Make sure that you uh, use the B and H link. Help support them supporting me. When I asked for it, I made the mistake of asking for this leg set, which is the 535, which um, is more of a photographer's leg set, not the videographer's leg set. As I'm sure many of you know, videographer legs, there's like a single handle thing to release and all the legs go down at once. Really slick, really cool system. I didn't get that on this and I should have. And I think it was just, I was basically, I was looking at the head. I think I saw that that was in stock and I said, send me that one, not realizing it would have been better to wait for the other legs. Anyway, these legs are great, but they're very simple, you know, just standard tripod legs. Um, I, I think the video head would have been better, video legs would have been better, but this head is gorgeous. So they did do a little recall on the head, voluntary recall, if you've got one, if you're watching this and you're wondering, um, which was kind of funny because it basically said there's a risk of it coming loose or something like that. I've certainly never experienced that, but it's been working fine for me. So if you have one, make sure you do go through the recall thing. They'll swap it out. And the cool thing is they will give you, what was it, an LED light or something. One of their nice Manfrotto LED lights as a way to say sorry. So that's kind of good. Um, but adjusting it, once you figure out how to, to adjust it, it's easy to do. It definitely takes a little bit of setup every time, especially when you swap a new lens on if you don't put it in the exact right position or exact same position. But it's a balance. So you can see here how I can move this very easily and smoothly and it stays wherever I put it. And that's the whole balancing act of the N8. And it's it's this thing here, the um, the CBS continuous balancing system, I think it's called. You have to adjust that to adjust the balance. And if I, I'm not gonna mess it up, but if I mess it up, then it'll start to automatically drift. So you just gotta get the balancing right. But once you do, it is, it is superbly smooth. Let's change the tension on here. So you can tense that up if you wanna make it harder to, uh, to rotate, so you get a smoother, you know, you have to put more pressure on it, more resistance, it's smoother. Really, really impressive overall. I'm, I'm really liking the head. So if you're looking for a dedicated video head, you want that really smooth panoramic type motion or up, down, whatever motion, definitely give this guy a try. It is, it is worth looking at. I think it's a beautiful head. Uh, simple balancing in there, or not balancing, but um, what do you call that? Yeah, balancing, I guess, trying, trying to get that even right, so you gotta, you wanna get the even. It's got the little, little uh, spirit level it's got a little light in the spirit level which now I can't see because I'm sitting on the side of it um, spirit level that thing out and get that kind of balanced and it's looking pretty good and superb so that's on it and then of course the lens that I've got on here is a nice big lens you don't you're not going to use a head like this with a tiny little I mean you could but you know you really take advantage of it when you put a nice big lens on here so this is of course the Lumix Leica 100 to 400 which <laughs> is gorgeous that is really nice lens Tom's going to make me send this back to him soon it's very much of a bummer but that's okay. I don't need a lens like this. I don't shoot stuff like this. Um, I kind of had to really work hard to come up with stuff to shoot because it's just not my normal bailiwick, if you will. But it is a gorgeous lens, 100 to 400, super sharp, super smooth. The crazy thing is with the built-in optical image stabilization in combination with the GH5 image stabilization, so you get the dual, you can hand hold at 400 millimeter. That's kind of insane. That is really, really ridiculously awesome. Hand, and that's an 800 millimeter equivalent, right? So you can hand hold at that. That's, you know what? Hmm, I wonder if I could show that right now. I should, let me see here. Let's see if this will work, can I, ooh, crap. Let's see if I can't reach this because of the, I'm gonna plug this thing in. Hey, Brian, open the door, will you? I need, a, I need a little distance here. And let's see if I can show you just how awesome the stabilization is. Let's unlock this thing. Once I figured this thing out, now, now that I'm used to it, I can do this pretty easily. Um, there's no light on you. Um, hmm. Oh well, we'll see how it works. We'll see what happens. Let's see, I'll put this thing into video mode and turn it on and let's plug this guy in. I just want you to see the difference between non-stabilized and stabilized so you can just really appreciate how incredible it really is. 
Um, let's see, wait for that to sync up. Oh, I probably have to change some settings on here. To get that to sync, uh, no, no, you're fine. Just don't worry about it, do, do your thing. Um, oh, why don't you open the door so we get some sunlight on you? That'll, that'll help. Talking to Ryan out there. Uh, let's see here, where am I going? I need my HDMI settings. Oops, wrong one, HDMI output. There we go, convert 1080p, that's on. Okay, info display, let's turn the info display on. It is on, super, all right, let's go there. Let's go into just after priority, make this easy. And I don't know if it focuses that close, let me see. Ryan's, uh, go back. <laughs> Oops, all right, let's see. Can it even focus on him? Probably help if I turn the autofocus on. Uh, let's turn on stabilization to start. What's Ryan breaking out there? My own coffee mug. Oh, good job. He's breaking his coffee mug. All right, let's. Where are you? All right, time to get in frame, buddy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know you guys aren't seeing anything yet. I am trying to find Ryan. This is, I'm zoomed in so tight. I'm like looking up his nose. And there we go. That is definitely not attractive. Don't do that. Um, okay, let's go. God, it's so dark in there. Okay, we're just going to do that. All right, here we go. Um, this one. So let's see. I'm going to turn off stabilization to start, and I'm going to point this at him. Now you can see my elbow. Actually, you can get my elbows off the table. Okay, so that's no stabilization. Perfect table manners. Perfect table manners. That is no stabilization. Okay, now let me switch the stabilization back on. And... Handheld, no no elbows on the table. Look at that. This fully zoomed in, 800 mil. Look at that. Oh, I could. Oh, look, I can open the aperture. Hey, look at that. Now we can actually see. Go figure. Okay, now maybe we can focus too. Look at that. Isn't that remarkable? That is hand holding like this. That's kind of insane. Thank you. You can close the door and all that now. Um, I just so you know, you go. Okay, why do you need a tripod? Obviously, still you want a tripod for certain types of shots. But I think that is just insanely great and cool. So I wanted to share that with you in case I hadn't yet expressed how incredible the stabilization is. Very interesting to see handheld 800 millimeters. There you go. All right, that was a little bit kludgy, but we got there finally eventually. Um, excellent. Okay. Oh, all right. And I forgot. Dave Foster wants that lens. Yes, you do. It's a beautiful lens. You should definitely get one. Okay. So that was that. Let's take a look at the footage. So what I did was I shot with this combination uh, when i was driving back from the bay area for fourth of july it was a beautiful day over san francisco and so we stopped on treasure island which if you've never been there treasure island has the best view of san francisco it's awesome there's a little area there for not very many cars but if you can squeeze in you can get out and enjoy the view and so on and so on um it's pretty cool care seven is asking if i've tried stabilization panning mode well yeah sure uh, that's Never going to get this wrong. That only is in video, right? In the video panning, when you're in the stills, I don't think it goes to the stable, so the panning only. But I would turn, even with the tripod, I would still turn that on just because it's it, when you're doing pans, because it just smooths out any little bumps that you might get in there. But um, obviously, it's up to you. And you know, you try it. You try your shot, you try it with and without it, and see what's giving you the best results. But yeah, I've absolutely done that. Um, handheld. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't have footage here recorded showing you the panning like that, but yes, it's beautiful. Okay, so let's take a look at this very poorly graded. I just hit an auto grade. This is a, this shot is shot in V-Log. Um, and as I was explaining earlier, unfortunately, you're seeing stuttering because it's shot 30p, but it's being broadcast in 24p. So ignoring the stuttering, that is neither the camera nor the tripod head, you can see how smooth of a pan this is. Oh, that really sucks getting the stuttering in there, doesn't it? It really kind of defeats the whole purpose of showing how smooth this is. Here's what I'll do, guys. I will create a separate video. I'll just do a little video montage of these shots. I'll try and do a better color grade than this. And I will up upload those. Look, I didn't have this tripod level. <laughs> My horizon line is climbing. All right, look, I'm you know obviously not a pro at this. Um, I will upload that as a separate video because I think that it'd be good to be able to see that a little bit differently. Let me jump out of full screen. Let's see if there's another shot. Maybe that's a little bit less. Uh, maybe the horizon line's a little better. Uh, let's go into here. We're, so we're looking, we're at in resolve right now, which I barely, barely know. I'm gonna do an auto grade because I learned how to do that. It's a bit much, isn't it? Um, let's, 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 what do we wanna do? Uh, can I make that look a little better? What color into the gamma? Lift this, oh, that's the color, I don't wanna do that. Can't forget it, it's fine. It's fine, doesn't matter. Oops, edit mode and Command-F for full screen, and play. 
Well, I must be at the end of the shot. I am at the end of the shot. Excellent. Let's put the play at the beginning of the shot. Try that again. Oh, yeah. It's clearly, clearly poorly graded. Let's see if I manage to keep the horizon straighter on this one. So, yeah, again, I will upload, I will render this out with a proper color grade, upload this as a separate file so that you can watch it at 30p, which is how it was recorded, because, again, you're watching this right now at 24p, because that's how my switcher is set up. But it's pretty slick. It's a, it's a nice, it's a very nice combination. It is just insanely smooth. If you've never used a smooth video head, a proper video head, or if you've used a cheap video head, you grab this thing and you go, oh, that's what all the money's for, because it does cost, but man, that is a sweet, sweet head. Okay, well, that's, I, just, I just wanted to show you that and talk a little bit more about the 100 to 400. I'll upload a separate video clip. When that shows up, it'll show up right there. If I'm pointing at nothing, then it's not there yet, but we'll get that up there ASAP today. And uh, yeah, I guess that's really, that's it. Let me see, did that. Oh, look, my animation loaded. No, it didn't load. It pretended to load, but it's not playing. That's how I feel about it today. Apparently, I'm going to have some work to do on the switcher. Okay, uh, let's see, can I do this? Uh, at least I can do this, right? Yes, that works. Hey, GHFTraining.com, folks, guess what? I just reviewed the last video this morning. The last one. The last one. I just reviewed it this morning, which is actually the intro, because I recorded that last. And it has, as I'm talking about, you know, what are you going to learn in this video? And it's all these little cuts of different pieces from the actual course. So that video will be the promotional piece for it. So that's gone back for a little bit of re-edit, but that is the last one. That goes off to sound today. Actually, it's probably on its way there right now. Um, I believe everything else has come back from the sound engineer. I saw another big upload last night. So we may actually have this whole thing done by the end of today. Because this, if this one last file goes to the sound engineer, then that's it. That's his last one. And so then it's just a case of getting it all uploaded, which just, you know, that'll happen today and tomorrow. So maybe even by the end of this week. So I've told you, if you want to get this at the pre-order discount, that is going to end the moment the last video gets uploaded. If you want to save 40% off of this, then go get it now. GH5training.com, now is the time. If you wait until after that last video goes up, the price is going to go up and you're going to say, oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. I, you know, sorry. The folks who pre-ordered pre put a little bit of faith in me that I'd get this thing done. A lot of faith, considering it's a month and a half later than I originally said it would be. But we're there, and it's awesome, and I'm stoked. It, I'm really, really happy with how this thing came out. Tom, you are going to be very, very pleased. Uh, for those of you who already have it, thank you for purchasing. Thank you for downloading the videos that you have. And thank you for those of you who have written some nice reviews. Uh, don't You can go to ghfactraining.com. Once you've purchased it, you can leave a review. It's kind of a nice system. You can't leave a review if you haven't purchased it. Keeps off those Amazon trolls. Um, yeah, so that's that. I guess that's that. Is there anything else? I don't know. We're, we're clearly, I got to go fix a few things and get this video uploaded properly for you. So again, don't forget to check out the actual video footage from this combination right here at proper 30p, not at 24. So it looks actually nice and smooth and I'll grade it properly. I'll make it look good. And I guess that's it. Okay, guys, do we going to do a commentary? Sure, let's do a commentary. Let's see what else is going on. Uh, we'll be right back.